When I was a kid, I played a ton of Dragon Ball Z games from the OG Budokai and Tenkaichi series, Raging Blast 1 and 2, dabbled in the Xenoverse series even, and beat the Game Boy Advance games too. But there was a Japanese arcade-only release we never got in the West that felt like it was a hybrid of Raging Blast 2 and Tenkaichi Tag Team on the PSP. Dragon Ball Zenkai Battle. I guess we know what the Z stands for now. While being very reminiscent of those two games combined, don't let it fool you into thinking this is the best Dragon Ball game you never played. It's very much a bastardized form of those titles, and you won't be thinking this is any better than Ultimate Tenkaichi or Battle of Z after playing it. This ain't no Raging Blast 3 or Tenkaichi 4. The complex combos of Tenkaichi and Raging Blast? Gone. Battles? Blinking you'll see a game over screen. Seriously, the amount of damage enemies can take and vice versa can be pitiful at times. Match was over in less than a minute. Seven punches for both Nappa and Vegeta. The game feels very suited for quick, rapid play in an arcade, which makes sense. And while there are many characters to choose from, there are not as much as any of the console releases I mentioned previously, and while the game may be lackluster in many ways, in some ways it does have some cool additions. Look at the destruction of this. Look at that spear bomb. You get some max level and... The game can be fun at times, and the additions to the energy-based attacks are nice, but again, it's over way too fast. Everything from combat to the battle flow feels simplified for arcade, which again, makes sense. You can unlock more characters and even items to customize them, however. Everything saves to a memory card for the arcade cabinet, which is actually just a modified PlayStation 3 apparently called the Namco System 357, and as you can see, it's quite pricey if you can even find one. So what's the deal with me only using Goku and no one else? And how am I even playing it? Well, I'm emulating an RPCS3, the PlayStation 3 emulator, which is modified to run a handful of games meant for the Namco System 357 arcade. This won't work on the original RPCS3 or even a custom firmware PS3. I tried. And worst part is, since it's still in development at the moment, it currently cannot emulate that memory card I mentioned earlier, so after three matches, the game ends like it's a demo. Which I could honestly see being a PS3 free trial with a full game unlock on PSN back in the day. Give the emulator time and it'll be added publicly in the future when it's more stable. 